everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how i make my cuban coffee ever since i filmed my spring morning routine this has been the most requested video on my channel and i don't blame you almost everybody loves coffee or at least seeing how it's made so yeah i'm gonna show you guys this is what you're going to need you're gonna need some ground coffee some sugar any espresso maker, I use a stovetop espresso maker, uh, an espresso cup, a little cup to pour your coffee in. And finally, something to mix your sugar and your coffee in. Since this espresso maker makes a lot of coffee, I'm going to use a measuring cup instead of my little stainless steel one. So the first thing that I do is I remove the top part of the espresso maker and then I remove the filter or the funnel. And then I fill up the bottom part with water up to that little screw type of thing. So now I'm just getting some coffee and putting it in the funnel. And I use a teaspoon for this because I just find that it's easier to put the coffee in and pack it. I like to pack the coffee so that it tastes a little stronger and it's not as watered down. And I just place it in the bottom part of the espresso maker and I screw the lid on. And then now we're ready to put it on the stove. And while I'm waiting for the coffee, I just grab the sugar, a teaspoon, and whatever cup I'm going to be mixing the sugar and the coffee in. And I put three to four very generous teaspoons of sugar in the cup. I usually eyeball this, but it's around three, three and a half to four. I don't like my coffee to be too sweet, but I don't like for it to be extremely bitter. I like it a little bit on the stronger side, and I find that this amount of sugar works. Keep in mind that this espresso maker makes about six cups of coffee or six espresso shots so that's a lot of espresso so obviously the amount of sugar that you're going to use is going to vary and it's going to depend on the amount of coffee that your maker makes now you don't have to do this but i always use the first little bit of coffee that's made and i pour about this much into the sugar I go in a little later and add a little bit more but I always like to add less as opposed to adding too much because you will ruin the whole sugar mixture and then for the fun part or the part that hurts my arm like crazy this is why my right arm is so much stronger than my left arm but it's the mixing of the sugar and the little bit of coffee and you just mix it and mix it and mix it until you get the right consistency I will show you guys in just a moment what that consistency should look like and again keep in mind that everybody has their own method this is the method that works for me this is the consistency that i personally like the one that makes the best froth or epumita as we cubans like to say it and this is kind of getting there but it's not exactly there honestly i could have used a tiny tiny drop of more coffee but this will work it's no big deal and at this point my arm is already killing me by the way if you were wondering so here we go this is more or less the consistency that we're looking for So now when the coffee is finished, this is my favorite part, we just pour as much of it as we can. Usually I can fill the entire measuring cup and there won't be anything left in the espresso maker. So I don't find myself having to go back and forth between the measuring cup and the espresso maker. So now I'm just mixing all of that little mixture that we made with the coffee. And this is what actually makes the froth up top. And now we are ready to pour. And my advice is to try to do this over the sink. But since I was filming, I wanted to make it look pretty. And I did spill it, which is why I put something underneath the glass. But the reason that I'm shaking my hand like this is because that is how you get the most amount of froth into your shot glass. So just shake your hands a little bit just to make sure that that froth goes into the actual shot glass. And that is pretty much everything that I do. A stovetop espresso maker is a little bit more tedious than the one that I showed in my morning routine. 
but personally i like how stovetop espresso makers make coffee better it's a little bit stronger which i actually prefer so yeah that is everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video